Competition. Ladies and gentlemen, grab a seat and get ready to make noise because the Asian Beyblade Tournament quarterfinals are about to begin. I'm Brad Best, along with my right hand man, AJ Topper, bringing you all the action. And we'll get the job done from our perch way up at the top of the China Tower Bay Stadium, located deep in the mountains of China. I'm totally stoked about some of these teams, Brad. The Blade Breakers have looked awesome so far, and the White Tigers have been tearing the competition to shreds. Both of them have a real shot at riding the leaderboard all the way to the top floor and landing in the finals. And the harsh rivalry between the two groups just makes it all the sweeter. Which brings us to the unveiling of the trick dish. So now let's see what our competitors have in store for themselves this time. Well, just when I thought I'd seen it all, looks like the Great Wall of China has been twisted into a pretzel shape. The coolest part of this design is that it's going to make it hard to keep visual contact with the Beyblade, forcing the players to rely less on sight and more on instinct. So all that's left now is to put a couple of teams to the test. First up are the Spin Shepherds, facing off against the white hot fan favorites, the White Tiger Team. Ready? Let's begin! Representing the Spin Shepherds in the first match will be Bobby. And it looks like Gary's been selected to get things rolling for the White Tigers. Uh-oh, sounds like someone overstayed his welcome at the free lunch buffet. Uh -huh. mm, that's better. Oh, gross. What about our deal, Gary? No more big meals before a match. Uh... Ugh. You know, indigestion messes up your time. <laughs> Looks like I may have just caught a lucky break. A very lucky one. Gary's bulky build makes for a wicked launch speed. But the longer the match, the weaker his game. Then again, with Galzi in his corner, matches tend to end quickly. Bobby tends to favor a defensive style that wears down his opponents over time, making them easy pickings for his weak and effective attack. Players, take your position! Well, that's certainly a unique look. Huh? What's on his Beyblade? It looks like snow. Maybe Dizzy has the answer. Here's a hint, genius. The black sheep has three bags full of the stuff. It's wool? His Beyblade wears a sweater? I guess. And so what would be the point of that? Uh, to keep it warm, maybe? Three, two, <laughs> Just say I'm glad I'm not in Bobby's shoes. 
Welcome back to the China Towers. Our first quarterfinals match continues. These players are locked in a seesaw battle, with Gary unable to smash through Bobby's awesome defense, and Bobby's not tough enough on the offense to do any real damage on his own. Keep up your attack, Gary, and sooner or later you'll make lamb chops out of that woolly old Beyblade. Lamb chop. <laughs> Sweet lamb chop. Uh, mm. Forget I said that, and concentrate on the match! What happened? I'm not sure. Now's my chance. Beyblade, attack! Whoa, at the rate of speed Gary is dropping, that layer of wool might as well be a trampoline. His own teammates know he's in trouble, but I don't think Gary knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, what have I done? And with that turn of events, Gary is left looking pretty sheepish while Bobby manages to ram home the victory. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Man, you totally let us down. No problem. Hey, we still have two more matches. I guess you have a point. Hey, guys. Mm. Guess what? That one's for our side. Oh, really? Know what? We'd let you win that one to make it interesting. Ah, uh, why you? <laughs> we'll just see about that. And tensions are definitely running high as we quickly approach the start of the all-important second match. Relax. She's trying to get you mad so you'll make a mistake in the match. Players, prepare for launch! Mariah has the ability to sneak up and pounce on her opponents with little warning. Add the stealth and power of her BitBeast Galax to the mix and look out! Doug uses the same Gonzo Wool and Shield defense as his teammates, but sooner or later the White Tigers are gonna totally find a weakness! Never break through my fluffy soft force field! Who says I'm even going to try? There's more than one way to shear a sheep. <laughs> I just need to catch him off guard for a moment. And he's mine. Three, two, one! Let it rip! Yeah. And here we go! Man, these two are really ripping up the course as they bash and slam their way along the wall. been shredded to pieces. It just happened so fast it took a few seconds to sink in. No! Winner, Mariah! Oh, man, that was incredible. Hmm. That battle was over before it started. Doug never stood a chance. One more loss and it's back to the meadow for them. Players, take your positions for the deciding Tiger sent team leader Lee to the dish to try and secure the victory, and he'll do it with the help of his more than capable bit beast Galleon. The Spin Shepherds are down to their last member, Bruno, who digs a heavy attack Beyblade rather than the defensive type his teammates prefer. So now it all comes down to who has the stronger attack. Get ready and let it rip! Attack! Underway with authority. Still think you stand a chance? Of course! Then I guess it's time you learn how badly you've misjudged my power. You might want to pay close attention to this, Ray. You've proven yourself unworthy of the White Tiger. Now I'll show you once and for all that the power of the White Tiger should be mine. Watch how a true master controls the battle. You might recognize this. Galleon Tiger Claw! Who can play at that game? Attack! Slam! I 
tell you folks, it looks like the 4th of July as tiny fragments of Beyblade rain down from above. It's over! Lee and his White Tiger team now advance to the next round! What's up, Ray? You okay, man? How did Lee learn the Tiger Claw attack? Good question. Care to explain yourself, Lee? Sure. It's no big secret. The White Tiger belongs to me. But that's Ray's bit beast, not yours. At least it was before it disappeared. Yeah, how dare you claim it as your own? Oh, really, guys? So, what do you think, Raymond? Maybe it's about time you told them the truth. The truth is that Lee and I go back a long way. We grew up together in a small mountain village. There was no TV or video games or anything like that. So we devoted a lot of our spare time to Beyblade. <gasps> Not again! <laughs> hey, you were close that time. We were best friends and hardly ever apart. Whether we were perfecting our Beyblade skills, or doing chores in town with the rest of our White Tiger team friends. It was the perfect friendship. Perfect, that is, while it lasted. I have something for you, Ray. What I have here is a bit that contains an ancient power. <sighs> the symbol of the White Tiger had been passed down from generation to generation. And it was Ray, not I, who was selected by my grandfather to bear the responsibility. I was disappointed, but I knew that it was in good hands, and so I gave Ray my support. I figured if our friendship could survive that, it could survive anything. <laughs> but I was wrong. It was at that time that Ray betrayed us. What's going on? I'm afraid Ray has chosen to leave town. Huh. Yeah, but he's coming back, right? You mean... He took off with the White Tiger? That's right. It was there and then that I decided that I would one day find Ray and take control of the White Tiger's power, thereby restoring honor to our team. Of course, to do that, I needed to ensure that my skill and strength were equal to that of Ray's. So I practiced day in and day out until I was confident that I'd perfected the technique that we developed together the one known as the Tiger Claw Attack. Now that we're up to speed, hand over the White Tiger Bit Beast, Ray. Never. That was a nice tale you spun there, Lee, but it was a bit heavy on the melodramatics for my taste. Every word of it was true. Maybe, but that was only one side of the story. Our town was so isolated from society that few beyond its walls even knew we existed. Everyone should know about the White Tiger. Oh, is that so? And what was wrong with leaving things just the way they'd always been? It wasn't your decision to make. I'm here to claim the White Tiger, and you can't stop me. Don't be so sure. Huh? <laughs> huh? You'll have to go through us first. <laughs> Don't laugh. Your White Tiger team may be tough to beat, but the Blade Breakers always stick together. And we're not about to let you take something from one of our teammates without a battle. That's right. You mess with one of us, then you gotta deal with the rest of us. Yeah! Hmm. So there. Okay, then. Let me offer you this challenge. If you defeat us in the finals, then the White Tiger is yours. But if we win, the White Tiger is ours. So, what do you say? Is it a deal? Okay, Lee. It's a deal. Great. Cool. Yes! Now we just have to make sure we get all the way to the finals. Yeah! Next round, here we come! Right.
welcome back to the China Tower for our next matchup between the Charming Princes and the Blade Breakers. Get a load of this Beyblade. It's the maximum size and weight that a regulation Beyblade is allowed to be. It's only fitting for a prince. Yeah, well, everyone knows bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. Blade Breakers, select a player! Mm -hmm. Okay, it's me. It looks like Tyson is heading up to the dish, and he'll be facing off against Ronnie from the Charming Prince team. Sure, he's made it this far, but will good manners, proper etiquette, and an oversized Beyblade be enough to seize the day? Tyson's not gonna let a little royalty get between him and his goal of reaching the finals. And it takes way more than a crown and title to impress Tyson's awesome bit beast dragoon. Players prepare for lock. Three, two, one. Let it Chief, I'm working as fast as I can. Well, I hate to bother you when you're on a roll, but you should know that Tyson's wind attack is only making things worse. Oh, of course. I had it backwards. Tyson, I just realized the design of Ronnie's Beyblade is the complete opposite of an airplane's wing. It creates a downward force, so while it's grounded, your wind attack is only making it heavier. I see. So then, I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. Uh, typical. To get it off the ground first and then use your wind attack to blow it away. Now I gotcha. Why didn't I think of that? Thanks, Chief. Okay, Tyson, now's your chance. Storm attack! No! No! Puts us one step closer to the finals. No matter how many rounds you win, Ray, I'll be waiting for you at the end. Go, Drasil! Here we go! And ouch, there it goes! <sighs> uh, yeah! Hey, Ray, you're up next. Hmm, <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time until the White Tiger belongs to me. Players, prepare to launch! Up next for the Blade Breakers is Ray, who hasn't been in top four lately. Does this have to do with the rumor that his bit beast has up and disappeared? The Charming Prince team will send Robin in to try and do what his teammates couldn't. Put the crunch on the seemingly unstoppable Blade Breaker. Three, two, one, let it rip! Trigger, this is for you! What's going on? He's back? <gasps> but how? Huh? How cool is that? Welcome back! Man, let's show him the real Tiger Claw. I don't know where Trigger was at, but he's back with a vengeance and looking to smash anything that gets between him and his opponent. If he keeps this up, there won't be anything left to smash. Something tells me I'm in big trouble here. AJ, this is something else. You said it, B-Man. And as the dust begins to settle, we see that only one Beyblade remains spinning. Winner, Ray! Yeah! Oh, Ray, that was so <laughs> awesome! <laughs> uh, now I know more than ever. 
The power of the White Tiger belongs to me. Oh, Ray. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. And now that Trigger has returned to me, it's even more important that I defeat Lee in the finals. Let it rip! Dickinson. Good morning, boys. Say, was that Tyson screaming, or have I lost it? It couldn't have been Tyson. He's still in bed. Shh. Hey, Tyson, are you gonna get up or what? Hey, Max, try using a fire hose. You think? Let me give this a try. Oh! Ah! <laughs> The old hot pepper in the mouth trick. <laughs> Here he is. Ooh. Don't tell me he's still sleeping. Oh, Tyson woke up all right. Uh, Just for a minute. Poor little guy. But you better get him up pretty quick or we'll be late. The tournament starts in less than half an hour. I think just to be on the safe side, maybe Max should go first this morning. <laughs> he couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. So be it. We'll catch up with you later. Help! My mouth's on fire! <sighs> Just stay up all night, Chief? Working again, I bet. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have something to show you, Max. I reconfigured your Drasil and Shooter. All right! This I gotta see! Sweet, it doesn't even look like my blade! You're the best! Thanks, but I can't take all the credit. Dizzy did most of the technical stuff. We amped up your Beyblade's defense power and implemented a sniper grip on your shooter. Makes it more accurate. You'll be unbeatable. I like the sound of that. I can see it now. My name up in lights. Max, the world's best blader. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost forgot. There you go. I'm all set. With my seal bid, I will rule. Hey! You gotta see what the chief did to my blade, Mr. Dickinson. This baby is so tricked out, there's no way I can lose. Settle down, Max. I think confidence is a good thing, but being overconfident, well, that's... Me? Overconfident? No way! It's just nobody can beat me, that's all. <laughs> Wait up, would ya? Man, my mouth feels like something furry died in it. Would you please quit your belly aching? Check it out, Tyson. Our limo has finally arrived. Let's flag him down. I'm on it, bro. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Bus Driver, you got room for two more? Would With all waiters, waiters please, please report, report for tournament, tournament registration, registration immediately. immediately. Wow! 
I am so ready for this. What? I wonder why Ray isn't with them. Oh, I hope he's all right. Where the heck is he taking us? Don't worry about it. Well, I sure hope we get there soon. Hey, Ray, who do you think we're going to be battling today? Would you put a sock in it for a while? Hey, what's the deal stopping in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. Well, I say we scope it out. All right, let's go. Oh, great, a traffic jam. And it looks to me like it goes on forever. We'll be late. They're all headed for the semifinals, just like us. So there's really no point in getting all upset about it. Yeah, they're going to watch the Blade Breakers. All right. Okay, this isn't good. I'm going up for a look. Hey, Ray, see anything? Oh, man. I wonder what's keeping them. Yeah, and if they don't get here soon, they're going to miss the start. Bad news, boys. There's been a landslide. <sighs> This is just great. There's no way we're going to get to the tournament now. We could be stuck here for days. So now what are we supposed to do? Sit here and wait? Man, we're going to lose. I can't take this. And all because I slept in. Didn't I tell you to stop your belly aching? What then? We run. Are you nuts? We'll never make it in time. Hmm, if you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. But for now, we run. Oh, there is no way we can climb that mountain. Are you too chicken? Yeah, whatever. Lead the way, tough guy, and I'll be right behind you. Come on, or maybe you're the one who's chicken. Okay, let's go. It shouldn't take us too long. It's about 10 kilometers. What? About 10K? I'm worried. Yeah, they should have been here already. I'm worried too, boys, but we must think positively and hope for the best. We'll have to start without them. And as we decided, Max, you'll have to go first. But what if they never make it? Huh? Oh, no! Are you okay, Tyson? Yeah, just keep going. Okay, buddy? No, oh. I think I twisted my ankle real good. Tyson, listen to me. Keep following this path and you'll make it there in no time. Wait a sec. There's no way I'm leaving you here. Don't you get it? My ankle's shot. So get moving or you'll be late. Would you stop talking trash? We're getting out of here and we're getting out of here together. You're forgetting. You just saved my life, pal. Well, okay. All right, stop your belly aching and get on. Uh, uh, Let's go. Welcome once again to the Asian tournament in beautiful uh, downtown. Uh... We're in China, Brad. It's a country. I knew that. We now send you down to the coolest tournament announcer anywhere, DJ Jazzman. It's time to kick it. And let me introduce to you that wild and wacky team of believe action is only a word the Blade Hunters. Going up against the Blade. Hey, what's going on? Where's, Where's the, the rest, rest of the team? If, if there are any blade breakers, breakers in the bathroom, the better hurry up and flush, because you're on! Something is very wrong here. I just know it. I'm really starting to get worried. If they don't show up soon, we'll have to forfeit. This isn't good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brad Best, and we're coming to you live from China with the semi-final round of the Asian Beyblade Elimination Tournament. And joining me, as always, is AJ Topper. Thanks, Brad. And for this round, our combatants will be battling in the Punch Bowl, which doesn't give them any place to hide. Like the old saying goes, you can run, but you can't hide applies here, doesn't it, Topster? Yeah, whatever. W where are those two? Guess it's just... You and me. Are you sure you're okay? 
Yeah, we're almost there, Ray. It's still pretty far. Can you make it? I'll make it, all right. We've come this far, and I'm not giving up now. Okay, buckle up. Ah! Hang on, guys! We're coming! Welcome back to the semifinal round, as we're still awaiting the rest of the Blade Breaker team. And according to the rules, they've got to show up before the second round or they forfeit. Whoa! Check out that hacked blade! Okay, representing the Blade Breakers is the rookie Max Tate. His Brazil Beyblade is one wicked weapon, Brad. And from the Blade Hunters, first up is Chucky Chunk, and it says here his Beyblade is homemade. That's one brave little dude. Get set in three. Come on, Max. Two, come on. One. Let it rip. And the semifinals are underway. This kid is really good! Wow, my Beyblade is smoking! Max, now do you understand why I stayed up half the night tweaking your Beyblade? Hey, slow down there, cowboy. What's all this eye stuff? Are you forgetting who did all the work? Gee, Dizzy, you know what I mean. Besides, you and I are a team, aren't we? Yeah, sure, Chief. But remember, the next time you take all the credit, I just may not be around when you power up. yee It's slamming time in the trenches! Come on! Oh boy, I can't believe how strong my Drasil is! It takes a kicking and keeps on ticking! Hey, Chucky, you ready? Huh? Well, are ya? Am I ready for what? Drasil, it's magic time! Oh, no! And Max has gone on the offensive! Is, is that, that hit powerful, powerful enough for a Blade, Blade Breaker, Breaker first, first round win? You demand, Max! But... I should be stalling for time. Oh, man, I wasn't using my head. Just get this over with. Oh, phew, close one. I'm still alive. Please, take a break. No way. I said I'd get us there, and I'm keeping my word. Let's go! You're gonna hurt yourself, Tyson. Hey, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for the team, you understand? Let's zip it, will ya? And enjoy the ride. Tyson, you are one strange dude. I thought this battle was over, but it's just getting started. Come on, just hang in there a little longer. And I hate to agree with you, Brad, but Max had me completely full, too. What I... I do. The crowd is getting restless. Uh, Kevin, where have you been? I went to the bathroom. Do you mind? Hey, Max! Huh? This is not funny. Why are you trying to embarrass us, huh? What? How dare you mock us because we don't have high-tech blades like yours? No, you've got it all wrong. That's not it at all. You insult us with your taunting tactics. Uh, but... Hey, Max, listen to me. Yeah? Why don't you just get this over with? I hate to tell you, but you're starting to embarrass us. What? A true Beyblader doesn't stall for time no matter what's at stake. So let's get this over with. Kai! Kai is right! Beyblading is a sport, and not just some little kid's game. Sorry, Chucky. I was just stalling for time. Oh. I apologize if I've offended you in any way. Hey, everything's cool now, man. All right! Go, Drasil! Go! Do some damage! AJ, because this is the weirdest battle I have ever seen. Now, I'm sick and tired of being toyed with. Big Kahuna Dime attack! Kids are doing it all across the nation. Time to battle now. Ah! Domination. Cool in their head. You better get a grip. The battle has begun. 
What's that? A little something I use in emergencies. Here we come. I wasn't gonna stall any longer, and it's time for me to show you what I mean. You are going down! Drusil, attack! Are you ready to give up, Chucky? Never! If you ask me, I think I just heard the fat lady singing. The first round goes to Max. We did it! It worked like a charm! Thanks, Chief! All right! The first match of round one goes to the Blade Breakers. And now it's time for round two! Uh-oh! Contestants, Contestants to the Bay Stadium, Stadium, please! It looks like we're gonna have to forfeit this one. Team, Team Blade, Blade Breakers, Breakers you, you have 30, 30 seconds, seconds to report. report. I repeat, you have 30 seconds. Jasmine, hold it. We need more time. Forget it, Max. Huh? I'll go. I'm registered as a substitute anyway. Don't ask me why, because I don't even know, okay? Let's do this. Yes! This is a new one to me, AJ. Well, Brad, each team is allowed a registered substitute. And if you look at the Blade Breakers roster, you'll see Kai is listed as their sub. And just look at his stats. Kai is one lean, mean, Beyblading machine. And with a perfect undefeated record, you don't want to mess with him. And representing the Blade Hunters is Zippy, who really is an unknown in this tournament. How they ever got this far is a mystery to me, Brad. Shooters ready? Three, two, one, let it rip! The second round of our first semi-final match is underway. Get him, Dronzer. And Kai is the first to go into attack mode. Sorry to interrupt, AJ, but this one's over before it started. <laughs> Man, Kai's doing a little styling in the dish just to rub it in. And the second round win goes to the Blade Breakers. That was fast. Yes, that's my boy, Kai. I wouldn't be too impressed, Chief. You see, I analyzed Zippy's Beyblade, and the thing was made out of old plywood. Thanks, Dizzy. We forfeit the third battle. You can't do that. I haven't competed yet. You serious? I am dead serious. We shouldn't even have to fight a third battle, because isn't it the best two out of three wins? According to the rules of the tournament, if one member forfeits, the whole team forfeits. So you have one minute to decide. And the time starts now. But wait! While we're waiting for the Blade Breaker's decision, let's go through Lippy's stats. As you can see, there isn't much to report other than he's undefeated in the tournament. Team Blade Breaker, you now have 15 seconds. 15 seconds. My, this is quite the predicament. I guess all we can do is throw in the towel. What a rip. Hey. Huh? Oh! All right! Whoa, baby, this one isn't over. Sorry we're late, but we ran into a little landslide back there. So who's up next? Tyson! Finally woke up, huh? I don't understand how they made it. My plan was so completely foolproof. Kevin, how could you do such a mean thing to Ray? I'm ashamed to even know you. Do you understand me? Uh, Kevin! I'm ready for some blading. And so are we! Looking at Tyson, he has some decent stats, and his Dragoon Bit Beast is nothing to sneeze at. So the stage is set for round three, folks. Shooters ready! Three, two, one! But the last battle was fast. This one's over before you can say cheese on a stick. Tyson pulls another win out of his hat. 
So the winner of the first of the semifinals goes to Team Blade Breakers, who take it three battles to none. I knew you'd show sooner or later, Ray. I just knew it. Congratulations to you and your team. Guess I'll see you in the finals, huh, Ray? <laughs> hey, wait up! You guys really put up a good fight. I appreciate that. But the better team won in the end, Max. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got a little present I want you to take with you. I hope you like it. We love it. Well, go ahead. It's all yours. I've got lots. You see, my dad owns a hobby shop. <sighs> Thanks. We'll never forget you. Goodbye, Max. All right. I still don't believe Kai volunteered to fight for us. Well, he is part of the team. I mean, he was the last time I checked. You guys don't get it. If we had to forfeit, that would mean I wouldn't be able to defend my title as world champion. I really didn't have a choice in the matter. Hmm. Thanks, Kai. Put her there, bud. Okay? Hmm? Ah! He drives me nuts! <laughs> <laughs> yes! The tournament finals are coming up next. I can hardly wait to take on the world. Let it rip!